What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Hampstead, North Carolina at Future Homes and we're getting ready to check out a beautiful home on still. All right, so this is the Bayside. It is a three bedroom, two bath, approximately 1,498 square foot modular home. And how cool is that sitting up on stilts? Now we're gonna go upstairs in just a little bit so you guys can check out the porch. We'll go ahead and walk around it real quick so you can kind of scope out the outside. It has this really nice kind of baby blue, maybe powder blue uh, vinyl siding that goes all the way around it. And then of course you can see all the pylons uh, up underneath of it holding this behemoth up. Now the inside of this thing, <laughs> obviously it looks like the ocean, you know, something you would find if you went to the beach, but really cool looking. Now the front porch of this thing uh, comes with the home. And then if you wanted like here, it has a back porch. Uh, you can have that added uh, once it gets on site. So future homes will come and put that in place for you as well. But definitely a cool looking home. Uh, you have, I haven't even pointed this out on the front yet because we really haven't gotten to that angle, but uh, up towards the gables or the eaves, you do have uh, some white board and batten siding, which is nice as well. Get a little close up up underneath of this home. Yeah, kind of cool. I think this would uh, be perfect. Now, as far as future homes, they do service uh, Eastern North Carolina and they have two locations. I'll leave all their information for you down in the description. If you are interested or live in the area and you want a home, uh, come check these guys out. Super nice in their homes. They really take a lot of pride in their homes. So, you know, I, I appreciate that um, as a, a tour guide, I guess. But you, if you were wanting to buy this home, should also appreciate that too, just because it, it's nice to see uh, people that take care of their homes, even their model homes. Now, even if you don't live in their service area, you know, still, uh, you can take the time to appreciate the home or even use it as inspiration, you know what I mean? I find that that's pretty much what we use it for because obviously I live nowhere near North Carolina. Um, and I really just tour these homes to have the opportunity to kind of hang out with you guys. But for me personally, all of this is, you know, it's locked up inside of my brain. And of course, over on the YouTube channel and the website. So I can always go back and be like, oh yeah, I like this home. So anyway, I don't know. Let me know what you're here for, whether you're actually looking to purchase or, you know, maybe you just are like me, want some inspiration for a future home, or maybe you just like looking at homes, which is cool too. All right, so we are inside. And it is beautiful and vibrant. And this is your front door when you first walk in. Got the cool little surfboard over here. Smells like ocean mist. Really nice. I love the little hutch right here. But when you first walk in, you do enter into your living room. Now this is a longer home, so it's like a one of those like front entrance kind of mabobbers. But living room is really nice. You got nice built in right here for your entertainment center. You got some shiplap on the back wall right there and plenty of room for a nice size TV. So before we go any further inside of the main living area to the right right here, kind of let you see in reference to the living room, you have uh, this corridor that leads to the two uh, secondary bedrooms, a little echoey in here, but uh, this one sits all the way at the front right next to the porch, which is a nice size room. And then it, it has a step in closet right here. Really nice. And then so far I've noticed that all of the future homes have crown molding run all the way throughout the home. A lot of them have really nice door casings. Some even have like a, a more ornamental type door casing, which is really nice. Something that you don't really see a lot in modular homes. So in between the two bedrooms, you have your first full bathroom with the single vanity right here. 
your vanity lights, you have your toilet, and then you have a shower and tub combo. And then on the opposite side of the bathroom from the other bedroom, you have another bedroom. <laughs> uh, anyway, it, it's pretty much the same size right here, I think. And you have the step-in closet in here as well. And I'm fairly certain that you have this vinyl plank floor that runs throughout the entire home. So I don't think that there's any carpet in this home. And I wanna point this out too, you do have attic access right here in between the two bedrooms. But the carpet thing, that's nice because, I mean, especially if you live close to the beach, you know, you're gonna get sand everywhere and that's just gonna be a pain in the neck. All right, so from there, we're gonna come into the dining room area. You have the coffered ceilings right here beautiful light fixture and then as far as the decor they went with a nice round dining room table right here and then you have all of these windows like just super bright really nice and then right off of that you have like a cleaning closet or a linen closet you know, whatever you want to use it for. And then the doorway next to that leads into the master bedroom. We're going to get to that in just a minute because I love the kitchen. So you have this kind of peninsula area with the shiplap front, a couple stools right here. You could probably put a third if you wanted to, but then that person's going to be uh, over by the cabinet. So I don't know. That's up to you. But nice L shape right here on the counter and really just like you're far away from the action and i like that they kind of put the kitchen towards the back but you can still kind of communicate and host and all that type of stuff so the upper cabinets don't quite go all the way up to the ceiling nice gray color too i really like that stainless pools and soft closed drawers and the cabinets the cabinet doors are also soft closed so nice big cabinets, the uppers, nice wood shelves. And then you have nice subway tile backsplash right here. Stainless farmhouse sink. Looking out of the window. And then next to that, you do have your dishwasher and a little bit more counter space. And then on the opposite side, you have even more cabinets, which is nice. Probably put yourself, you could put a little island right here if you wanted to, a little roll around island, maybe. But you have your stove, your microwave, cool little corner cabinet over here. And then, so this is the second one I've seen that it has this corner door right here. I keep thinking there's gonna be a lazy Susan in it, but they get me every time. And then you have room for a refrigerator. And then I guess this would be uh, your pantry. It's got an upper and a lower right there. And then towards the back of the home, this is more like your mud room type area. You've got a little landing zone right here. Put up all your beach towels and beach bags. Put all the water guns up there. You know what I mean? You got your back door that goes out onto your back porch, which like I said, I, we haven't, we'll go out here, but nice size back porch, you know, and this could be customized. You could probably have this extend all the way over to the end of the home if you wanted to. Uh, like I said, this is something that they do after the home uh, is in place. And then you have your laundry room with your washer and dryer hookups right here, and then another shelf up above that. And then another linen closet back here in the corner. All right, now we'll go check out this master bedroom because it's beautiful too. And this whole house, like, whew, I'm so happy 
we found this place and I'm so happy that they let us come and actually tour them. So that's nice. I appreciate that. So master bedroom, really nice size, really pretty. It's, pre it's pretty. And then you have a little bit deeper closet in here. It has a light. I just didn't turn on the light switch, but I don't even know where it would be. And then off of that, you have your ensuite with the double vanity right here. Again, I love the gray cabinets. You got your light fixtures, your toilet, and then you have um, a nice big walk-in shower right here. The tile surround goes almost all the way up to the ceiling. And then you have a rainfall shower head right here, a removable shower head, and two nozzles. Nozzles, I never know what to call those things, like on-off devices. And then opposite that, you do have another linen closet. A lot of linen closet. You're gonna need a lot of towels in this home, for sure. All right, y'all, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on future homes or this model, I'll leave all that information for you down in the description. And if you wanna check out another one of their beautiful models here, go ahead and click on this video. And as always, guys, have an amazing day. My name's Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.